radio event up there at uh, my friend Bob's house. So we thought maybe we would uh, go to the tractor show for a couple hours and then uh, head over there. Until we started, there's there's so much to look at. Way in the distance. <laughs> Can't hear nothing. Somebody must be in between here.
instead of snow tires I got was two years ago were $1,200. The ones I got prior to that were like six. See, 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 that's why I need to figure out some payments here on the amp before it goes up to five grand. <laughs> yeah, I know. I don't worry about it. You're not buying an amp, Jimmy? No, he won't let me. He just said make sure the kids know uh, Matt. <laughs> oh, you're crooked. Oh, okay. What amp is that? Yeah, it's an L600. Oh, he'll let you down. Let you down. Let you down like an old dog. I'll help you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, I'll pick it up. Hey, he's going south, so I'll be down there. He'll pick it up. Did you hear you out on it now or not? No, no, I'm on the cantaloupe. I, I use it on 40 at, uh, if I go to 40 in the afternoon, I'll retune the wire and then switch the coax and I'll use the, uh, so I don't have to retune the cantaloupe. And then I'll use it. it. Yeah, 500 watts, no problem. And 50 watts in gives me four, 450 out, good key.
tail has an intense fishy smell in your breath. Yeah, well, I haven't had that because I take them, and it's no problem. But uh, yeah, I've been doing that pretty much the only thing I've taken, you know, supplement wise. And I've been doing that since, you know, back when I was still out and still hanging pipe. That probably started 20 years ago, and that's just been my regimen. Yeah, it really works for the joints.
and they finally uncovered it. I, I, I don't know how he did it. And he got eight months probation. That's all? That's it. <laughs> so he didn't have to go to jail, right? He got eight months probation, which means that he just can't get in trouble for eight months. They never got the half a million back. They don't know where it is. It's gone. He claims he spent it. Well, he didn't spend it all. It's, it's out there, right? So he still has the money or has spent some of the money, and he got eight, eight months probation, and that's it. So what's the guy going to do? He's going to wait for the eight months to go up, and then he's going to get back at it. Yeah, I don't understand why these scammers, they, they call me every day, and it's the same people. So why do they keep on calling me every day? I mean, uh, I, I don't get it. They target the elderly. And I don't mean that to be offensive, but that's just what they do. <laughs> they, they target the elderly specifically, and if you're if you're above a certain age, um, they, they they think that they're going to have better odds, and so they they uh, they they'll, they'll uh, target you like crazy. I mean, they have all different angles. Um, there's a, a huge one with the ARP. If you're a member of that, you can get scammed. They'll call you, claim you're they're they're them and. You know, they, they, they claim to be your cell phone company, your bank. Uh, I mean, my God, they even do RV dealer. Uh, we, 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 they, they get lists, you know. They get lists from, from corrupt people and say, uh, here's everybody uh, that owns RVs. So they'll call you and tell you, uh, oh, uh, something about your RV and scam you. Or I mean, it's just on and on and on. Well, you might be right because they're always identifying themselves as from Medicare or uh, from physical therapy or some diabetic association. I, okay, uh, uh, that makes sense now. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Um, it's just, just on and on and on. Medi Medicare, yeah, we just need a, um, you know, there's a $13 uh, payment uh, here, um, you know, and, and we just need to get that taken care of. Uh, it's not a big deal, it's just $13. Surely you want to take care of it, right? Because if you don't take care of it, then, you know, your benefits could be, uh, uh, be suspended. You know, and you, and you think, well, well, 13 bucks, that's screw it, I'll just pay it. Well, that's this day, they got uh, everything. What do you mean, they'll give you, these people will give them a uh, credit card? Yeah, right over the phone. Here's my credit card, here's the three digits, here's the, the, the name, social, social security, and then the address. Now, what's the address? Oh, they get the address, that's it. They got, they got everything. So then, then, then they, they, they rack the card up to the max. Yeah, I mean, it, it's that simple. You know, they, it's, they, they call all day, all day, all night, and, 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 and it's fish, you know? That's awful. It's just $13. Don't you want to pay this, David? Sure, here's my credit card. Yeah, right? I mean, who's going to argue with $13 or $15 or $25 or, you know, whatever? So they'll say, oh, uh, you overpaid. Um, you overpaid by $57. You know, we, we just need the credit card number to be able to uh, give you the refund. And <laughs> people are stupid enough to fall for that. Well, you know, if you're going to an aging population, there's going to be a percentage of people who have dementia. You know, and uh, the, the, you know, we all know that the people who have dementia don't have good judgment, and um, it, it'd be an easy target. That's why they do it. Yeah, it's sick. These people should be jailed or worse. You think about the effects of. Uh, civilizations um, from many years ago. You got caught stealing and you cut your hands off. Well, they probably still do that in Saudi Arabia. Well, it's just an example of, you know, it, 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 it's a big deterrent. You know, uh, he's walking around the town now with one less hand, and everybody in town knows he stole, and they cut it off. So do I want to make that decision? No. And, and that's it, you know, and, and but well, we don't do anything. I mean, we don't even put you in jail. Because you know in California, you, you, if you shoplift, you, they can't even prosecute you unless it's over 950 bucks. That's 
That's amazing. Look it up if you don't believe me. You can walk in. That's why you see all these videos. You can walk into a Target, get a shopping cart, fill it. Just don't go over 950. You know, walk right out the front door, and the employees won't stop you. The cops won't come and get you. You can load it right in your trunk and drive away. That's really sick. Well, that's why a lot of these stores in San Francisco are, are you know, going broke or leaving, you know, because uh, they can't uh, sustain that kind of loss anymore. Uh, you know, besides nobody wants to go downtown, who wants to go downtown at night and take your life in danger with all those homeless people around? Oh, no. I, yeah, they have to close down because they, I mean, I, I'm sure you've seen the videos on the news or whatever. They, they, they also go in there and, like, like six to ten deep and they, they put face masks on and hoodies and they walk in and they just they just fill their carts and they just walk out and then nobody nobody can do anything you know if the cops do catch you it's got to be over 950 otherwise they just let you go i mean the, the, the governor of california said well um they have to make a living and have to survive and we can't leave this these people in our population uh, out in the cold and so sometimes it, it's okay to steal and that's that's just absolutely insane but that's that's what it is i saw the guy that uh in, in, in i think it was san francisco but anyways he had a he had a store and um he priced everything in the store at $951. Did you see that? No, that's pretty funny. And he, was sure, he was smart, huh? Yeah, it's $951 for every single item in the store. It doesn't matter what it is. If you bring it up and you pay, for, he rings you up. If you pay for it, then you get the discount. And all of the, the, the prices go back to normal. Uh, if you physically come in and steal it and leave it and leave with it, then every single item is 950. It's posted, it's listed, it's uh, on its books at 951. And so then he can go to the cops and say they stole 20 items at 951 dollars each. Is it, is it working? I, he did it as a publicity stunt. I mean, it's been all over the news. But I mean, if you go into a shop, every single item says 951 on it. Um, and then the, you know, he, he, there's signs, and he's there telling you that. You know, if, if you're going to buy something, it's, it's, that's not the real price. Once I have, uh, I have your credit card, I'll, I'll charge you for the right price. Uh, you know, it's like, uh, so, you know, people are shopping there and laughing about it because they know if they go in and they get some stuff, it's going to be the normal price. But uh, that, that's the only way you can possibly fight back because uh, if you shoplift, um, that's the price. And so the cops are forced. They have to charge them with a felony. If they um, emptied out that homeless street in downtown Phoenix, I forgot the name of it. No, the uh, the uh, governor stopped it. it. It's still there. Ah, uh, shut up, you fucking leftard! The governor stopped it. I didn't hear that. They, she pretty much stopped it. it it's they 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 got a lot done and they got a lot of it out but that last section they uh they, they were unable to do it so it's still there that's really sad i guess i just don't understand uh, don't the business owners have rights too i mean it's like okay you didn't tell me that the homeless people have rights so, so uh -huh, all right i'll accept that but then don't the business people have rights too? Not really. They, they, they don't care about them. Did you just see the one guy who, who plays, he put up really loud speakers around his um, business in Phoenix. And he played uh, classical music at full volume. No, I think I heard something about it. So what happened? He, uh, I mean, you can go on there and watch it, but he, uh, he put up, there's homeless people all over, um, defecating all over his sidewalk, living uh, on the side of the building. He had a convenience store. 
at a gas station and they were living in tents behind and they were shoplifting and but, you know, he said the smell of urine was so bad, it, you know, it just, it, you couldn't, you couldn't take it, you know, uh, they were just everywhere laying in the, uh, in the streets, and so he, he put up, uh, like, big speakers like you'd have in a, um, uh, a stadium, and he, he started out playing, um, classical music at full volume, and, uh, that, a lot of them left. But some of them stayed, and so he started experimenting with the, with the, the different songs. But uh, he found some that were extremely annoying, and he would loop it 24 hours a day. And um, he said that uh, uh, after about two weeks, they were all gone. Is that a good idea? Yeah, he said it took about two weeks, but uh, after about two weeks, they finally they finally moved on. I think he might have. I, I, I think he, he played the Bee Gees. You know, like, like, you know, if you had to listen to Staying Alive by the Bee Gees for uh, three days straight, wouldn't that be like kind of like the Clockwork Orange? I, I, I think it would, I think, you, you know, it would start to just, you, you'd go crazy. Uh, I can't remember the song. He, you know, there was another song similar to that that he said really, really struck a chord with them. They were pissed. Yeah, that's a great tactic. Well, remember Joe was talking about how the homeless people are trying to uh, live in the front of one of the stores in uh, Sedona, and uh, they they uh, keep those people out. I don't know how they were able to do that. But Joe was saying, well, if they let the uh, one guy do it, then before you know it, there's going to be three or four, then you're going to have a whole colony there. So they they, uh, they stopped it. Well, I mean, listen, there's there's all kinds of trespassing laws that every city has, and it's not legal to, to, to set up a tent and live in front of a business or in town. Uh, it's just the city allowing that to happen, right? So like a city like Sedona, the, 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 the people that, that, uh, that own those businesses are wealthy and, and, and they control the government over there and there's wealthy people that live there and it's a nice clean city. And they're just absolutely not going to not gonna stand for that, David. You know that. Uh, the second homeless people start to set up shop there, they just go and arrest them all. Yeah, they, uh, they were trying to panhandle in Prescott. I think I told you about that. And uh, they, they they passed an ordinance and they stopped it, uh, which was I'm really happy about. Yeah, like in Texas, they passed a law that you can't have a sign. Period. If you're caught with a sign, then that's how they attacked it. Um, if you have a sign, then that's a serious uh, charge. And so they would uh, they they would just wait till the the panhandler. Uh, had like a cardboard sign that said they'd arrest him and throw him right in jail. Oh, well, it's good. You know, Joe's down in uh, Texas. Did you know that? Yeah, I knew that he was down there. I didn't know when he was coming back, though. I think he's going to be gone for two or three weeks. Yeah, that sounds right. Yeah, I think that sounds right. He was going to go down there for a couple of weeks and um, set, hopefully set up his new radio and antenna and uh, make contact with us. I, I had to text him and see if he's still going to do that, but he was, he was hoping to. I think that he wants to uh, just do 20 meters. I don't think he's going to do 75 meters on his antenna. That's what he said before he left. Okay. Yeah, because I, I know he said he had a hot center, uh, center fed dipole he was going to try to put up in the trees or something because I don't think the tower was up, but I, I'm, I'm not really sure. But... Uh, yeah, he was uh, he was trying to go in there and visit his family and um, take care of uh, some loose ends, and then I guess uh, they were gonna uh, drive back. Correct. Hey, John, what's going on up there, man? Oh, not much. Just uh, enjoying the ice cold weather. It's like 65 degrees out. Oh, I know. It's only, it was only 85 here. Can you believe it? It was uh, 116 degrees, I think, on Wednesday. And uh, yesterday, I think it was like 110. And then 
that that storm system came through, and it just had a, it dropped like 30 plus degrees. It was kind of humid yesterday. It wasn't real hot, but it was it was uh it was start moving and say you start moving and the sweat started rolling. But tonight it's nice and cool. John, it's 61 here, so you're cooler than me. I said 60, uh, 55. I thought you said 55. Ah, oh, 55. I'm at 61. Yeah, we, we had a hell of a storm last night. Did you guys get any of it? We got 0.25 inches of rain. We had really, really high winds. You know, the backyard's trash, blew everything around. I thought the tower was going to come down probably 40 mile an hour. Um, Central Phoenix got it even worse. They were up to 70 and 80 miles an hour. My buddy lost his uh, tower and his patio cover. Um, well, his tower was damaged. He didn't lose it, but he, he was damaged, I guess. But he lost his, like, patio cover, and, yeah, it, it was really bad here last night. We were just laying there thinking, man, it's, this thing's going to come down. What, the tower? You were afraid the tower was going to come down? Yeah, I'm telling you, man, I, I walked out in the back patio and stuck my head up there, and that thing was, like, two feet the, uh, to the north-east uh, direction towards the house, and uh, I didn't think it was going to hold it. Uh, it was a really, really strong uh, dust storm. A friend told a funny story, and it's really funny after what you guys are talking about. He was working at the uh, motor roller until one of those big, you know, places out there in East Valley with the two-story buildings and just an absolute vicious monsoon storm came through, like, you know, branches are coming off trees and like, trees are splitting in half and everyone's pretty much standing at the window watching all of it and it's pretty quiet and he goes, he goes, he goes I used to love monsoons and somebody goes, well, what happened? He goes, I bought a house and everybody just lost it. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> here with uh, Ladybug. You probably, I know you can hear it. She's got her chicken here. And uh, if I throw it down the hallway, uh, she'll fly it up to 10 feet touch on me. I wish I had a video of it. She'll fly it all the way from the front to the end of the hallway on her, on her claws. She, she can't get traction. Like she's on ice. I remember on a couple of years ago, <clears throat> working, and there were some people. You could tell by their vehicle, they were younger and all scruffy looking. And, um, but there were old foods in the corner, and they, yeah, they, they were panhandling, but they were kind of doing it a lot more low key. And, uh, you know, um, and I, I don't remember exactly what they were doing, but went and did a job and came back out and they were still there like two or three hours later so um but because it wasn't extremely obvious that they were panhandling we had a uh, uh a man and a woman in a wheelchair um, that were down here by the grocery store and they had the uh, signs up that said that they needed money to bury their son their son was uh, murdered and uh they had no money to uh, bury him and pay the funeral home. And uh, they were sp both in wheelchairs, uh, real heavy set. And uh, people would just stop there and give them money all day. You know, you know, the very next day they were back with the same signs. They did it for months and months and months. Yeah, I think it's going to the Supreme Court that the municipalities cannot pass laws stating that people can't ask for money. That it's going to be legal? It, you know, it, you cannot, the cities cannot pass laws that prohibit people from doing that. There's, they, they, there's other things that uh, municipalities can do, but they just can't stop panhandling. It's, uh, it's about the way people go about it that the cities can regulate, but... Did that seems like an incredibly liberal BS thing to do. What, what, what's the reasoning by the 
from the federal government to limit what uh, a city, town, or state can do. I, I, I don't get it. Well, it's, a freedom, it's a freedom of speech to ask some people for something. Oh, no, no, that's not freedom of speech, man. Yeah, it's, it's not freedom of speech at all. That, that, that's weird that you would even even suggest that. that, that that's strange. That, that, that's a corrupt federal government. They're, uh, uh, that they're suggesting that the city cannot enforce uh, stopping panhandlers and homeless people. That, that, that's, that's not right. Nobody wants people sitting there doing that. Um, and and, and the, the fact of the matter is this, you know, like we have a serious problem with, with uh, homeless and panhandlers and everything in Phoenix. We have whole tent cities that are set up. Uh, there was a huge one, John, right near my work over there off Grand Avenue that stretched over a mile, a mile of tents. And uh, they would rob and steal everything that wasn't bolted down. Uh, break into every building over there and there was shootings and I mean you know violence and all kinds of things at that at that city and uh, it, it's just it, it's bizarre to think that that's okay well that's something different because <clears throat> have you ever been broken down and, and, and try to get someone to maybe you if we have a flat tire just to borrow a jack but, you know that's why they do that's why the Supreme Court ruled on that I, I agree with that but some things have done, and it gets really dangerous, and it was just, I just caught part of the video, and you get that invested in it. And some, like, 22-year-old woman, she handed a $20 bill out the window to somebody, and she's the one that gets arrested because the city passed a law that didn't ask much or about, about uh, doing a financial transaction out the window of your car or something like that in traffic, and, and she's getting arrested for it. Yeah, that, that sucks. That, that's somebody trying to enforce something the wrong way and hassling somebody. I mean, that, that happens because we have so many laws. That sucks. Uh, you know, she's probably just trying to help, whatever. Uh, that's very different, though. You know, like, uh, they, they went down uh, and were interviewing uh, all these people, these, these health groups. They were trying to go into the, uh, into the tent sea. And a lot of more churches, uh, rescue mission type people, they were going in there and, 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 and attempting to help these people in giving them shelter and saying we have we have a, a building and we have pots and we have a, a shelter you can come and we'll we'll feed you and you know we'll counsel you and, and, and figure out what, what we can do to get you back on the feet and uh, they, they, they were all on there uh, the, the heads of these organizations and said uh, literally none of them want that uh, they, 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 that's not what they want what they want is to live there they, they, they're actually happy living in a tent on, the, on a curb in the, uh, in the tent city. They're, they're there for the drugs. They're there because there's mental illness involved. And they don't want anybody to, to stop them from doing that. Right, okay, but that's entirely different than standing on the corner panhandling. Those are two different, two entirely different things. Yes, so if you're... Uh, like I remember one that they uh, the the news did uh, uh, an, an article on or, or whatever. There was a guy that was panhandling like that with a sign um, at, at a certain intersection, and they followed him. They did this to like I don't know ten people maybe. They they just they just the regulars in other words. They would drive by. Yep, the person's back. You know every day every day and they would drive around and they would follow them, they would stake them out, you know, they would hide uh, across the street. And like the one guy, he, uh, he's in a wheelchair, he wheeled himself over to an apartment complex, stood up, folded up the wheelchair, and threw it in the trunk of a Camry, got in it, and drove off. Yeah, I've seen a few of those. I think it's a few years ago. Um, passed a, they were trying to put an end to it, and they passed a law you couldn't sit on the sidewalk. And I don't even think that, uh, I don't know what court it went through, but that, that law got thrown out in a heartbeat. There's so many laws that they can charge them with. You know, like the Sedona is an example. There's just so many ways that they can get them to do that. The, the reason why that they don't have a homeless problem is, is because the moment 
somebody shows up like that, they immediately remove them. And I mean, it could be like, you know, I mean, they, they could go too far with it, right? Like, that's what uh, the, the original Rambo, if you've ever watched that, that that's what the, 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 the whole sheriff in the movie was doing. He didn't want people in the town. He was trying to keep the town clean. Hey, guys, I got to clear out. Um, we'll see you guys tomorrow. KG7OL. I cleared it. All right, see you, man. They'll, they'll multiply. Oh, I, I agree. <clears throat> but at the same time, that's a... Uh, um, uh, I'm trying to think... Uh, I could have been considered panhandling. I was trying to get a quarter for a laundry machine. I had two dimes and a nickel. You know, I was asking somebody, hey, you got a quarter? And, you know, I was trying to give her a change back. And, and I, I could have been considered panhandling. I understand why the Supreme Court said it was just asking for money. It, it, can, never be, it can never be illegal. I, I, yeah, I, mean, I think it's kind of stretching it. You know, I mean, if you're asking for change or you're, uh, I don't know, Maybe maybe somebody does need bus fare. We've all been there, right? Um, and the person asks for bus fare. Uh, it's not a big deal. Nobody really cares about that, John. No, nobody cares about you asking for for a quarter or or somebody asking for a. a I mean, I, I was at uh, the grocery store recently, and uh, the Mexican kid walked up and he said, "Hey, uh, I'm wondering if you'll help me out." I need diapers. And I said, you just want diapers? And he said, yep. And I said, who's it for? And he said, because I have an infant uh, uh, baby. And he showed me a picture of the baby and said, I'm not asking for money. I don't want money. What I need is diapers. That's all I need. And if you could help me out, I would really appreciate it. Well, I went ahead and bought him the diapers. Who wouldn't? I got home and thinking, is he just going to go and return the diapers at a different store? The reason why I said that is he asked me for the receipt. So immediately right there, he didn't need the diapers, did he? Yeah, that's a little suspicious on the receipt end of it. Yeah, he wanted, can I have the receipt? And I, and I, and I no, why, why do you want the receipt? And I felt like grabbing the diapers back, you know, because... If a guy needs diapers, I'll buy you the diapers. I'll buy you whatever you need. I'll buy you your you, you food, whatever. Not a problem. I, I can afford to do that, and I will happily do that. Uh, please ask. That That's not a problem, right? But now you want the receipt. So the scam was, I'm going to take the diapers, the $50 in diapers, to the very next grocery store fries with the receipt and just return them. And they just do that all day. Yeah, or just wait, wait, wait to walk out to the car and do it in the same store. Um, yeah, but the reason why they did that is, uh, I mean, whenever you see, uh, you know, the Supreme Court, now you're hit the ruling. I, I don't like to, you know, um, because you see these kids having car washes, they're, they're asking for money. Well, they are asking for money, but for a service. It's a donation. They can't, they don't have business licenses. But every political organization, Democrat, Republicans, Independents, when they're ever out there doing something, we're frequently asking for money. Yeah, you're, you know, you're absolutely right. Yeah, they all want money. Yeah, do you support me? Send me money. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I agree with you. I can see the act of asking for money can't be illegal. But, you know, <laughs> panhandling, yeah.
then it's a, I don't, I don't know if it was a felony, but it was a major misdemeanor and you were definitely going to jail. All right. Did you yeah. get your, uh, your key? What's that? Did you ever get that key? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I got it, and uh, 